from the gospel according to matthew chapter 10 verse 34 to chapter 11 verse 1 jesus said to his apostles do not think that i have come to bring peace upon the earth i have come to bring not peace but the sword for i have come to set a man against his father a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and one's enemies will be those of his household whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me and whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me whoever finds his life will lose it and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it whoever receives you receives me and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward and whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward and whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple i mean i say to you he will surely not lose his reward when jesus finished giving these commands to his 12 disciples he went away from the place to teach and to preach in their towns words of the holy father the invitation to place family ties within the context of obedience to the faith and to the covenant with the lord does not demean them on the contrary it protects them frees them from selfishness protects them from degradation rescues them for life which knows no death a familial style that flows through human relationships is a blessing for the people it brings hope back to the land when familial affections are allowed to convert to the gospel witness they become capable of inconceivable things which make tangible the works of god those works which god performs in history such as those which jesus did for the men women and children he encountered